You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com. And we back. Hey, y'all, y'all know that song right there? Uh, Kick Push. I thought it was one of the hardest songs ever, but I never knew the words to it. You just like the vibe? Mm hmm. I don't think I ever knew the words either. I just don't kick. Push. That's kick. Right push. I don't know none of the lyrics, though. Does anybody I, know the lyrics? I know the lyrics. Like, y'all can rap it? Yeah, I can do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, the song's hard, yeah. We'll do that for though. We'll do that for. Let's get into uh, this interview. Hey, why are you so excited? Good. <laughs> yep. He said, "Y'all turn red when y'all start perving. That's what it is." <laughs> That's not when I'm perving, but I do turn red. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a special guest in the building on this man cave Sunday. We have Miss Jordan Carter and the Millennium Merch team. It I was is. wondering why with so many people out there. I brought my friends with me. <laughs> so it's Jordan Carter and friends. Oh, okay. Jordan Carter and friends. And we have another special guest, but she didn't tell me her name, so she has to introduce herself. My name is Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. Hey, How are you Alyssa. doing? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so Jordan, what's been up? You know, um, you. one of our hosts didn't remember that, you know, you came and talked with us uh, uh, one day. Why are you going to throw him under the bus like I, that? Look, I didn't throw anybody. Hey, we have another host. Let's start, let's start First off, I'm gonna start out by when I see people in public, I don't, I usually don't acknowledge them, right? Mm-hmm. I'm oh. Shy, so oh, you're lighting No, that's lighting. That you know, is lighting. Right? So the one time I'm like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey. Like, like, oh. <laughs> so she stepped out of her bubble yeah, and you popped it. Say hi. And he's like, hey, like, all right, you know. Um, we get to talk and whatever, and I say something about my fashion show. He's like, I got a radio show. I'm like, I see not your radio show. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what? I'm like, I have a picture standing next to you at your radio show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he so. said, that's me, bro. <laughs> that's terrible. But I was telling people that, you know, it's, it's one of those things that we support about this. This is true. No, no, no. Do the porn analogy. I think I think the porn analogy was way better, bro. That just sounds like a cop out. Do the porn one. I like the porn one better. Okay, so if you're a and you do it three scenes a day. Right. Every day. Uh-huh. And somebody say, hey, bro, you know what you mentioned that one? Like, bro, man. Like, no. It's like if you're, it, not if you have a special person, like, then you're going to remember oh, that person. Was to that point of it. Yeah. Now, it wasn't like that. Why? Because she wasn't special? Not just special. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're a liar. You're a, you're a liar. Everybody that comes up here is not special. I really First of all, the crazy part about it is, she was on the show. I seen her haircut. I liked it. I also asked her for her Instagram, and I'm like, oh, I already followed her. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you know what? I do that all the time, but with phone numbers. Like, I get a girl number, like, I have, I have that happened number. at an event that we went to. Uh huh. I still think that I still think the same of you. I just never got around to getting to you. Yeah. Uh, he still ain't text that girl either. I didn't. Le- I didn't leave an impression. It's fine. No, that's no. not. Oh, that he just gets so many impressions left on him that he didn't remember that one. Easily impressions. A bull. Yes. A bowl. Easily an impression. I will see. Last time your hair wasn't like this color. I like that's this time he's going. He's like, going to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the reason why you was like I'm coming back up there? Nah, cause oh, well, I didn't get my footage. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, that's a David yeah, thing. No, no, right. that's a <laughs> So, 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 look, we're not, we're not bad people. I don't know if you, this is how you feel. We're not bad people, um, because you know one host forgot you and then you didn't get your footage. Uh, but me and me and Drew are still in the clear. Yeah, because- I'm good. Like, you know, I hit her up after to help me with the anniversary, you know, to, to find some pants, you know what I mean? So oh, I actually, it was around anniversary time. It was around yeah, anniversary yeah, yeah. time. Was like the week before. And I think yeah. that week before anniversary time. Stop, 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 stop. Just excuse you, Brian, just, just it look. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So since the last time you were here, um, what's new, Miss Jordan Carter? So I had my show. How was it? Third I'm not just saying that because it was my show. Like, really, like, it felt... <laughs> you got to say your show was amazing. You're going to say, oh, it was trash. Like, yeah, it was trash. But, like, no, it was actually really, really good. Like, it felt good. Like, everybody was, like, smiling, happy. The vibes were there. Like, I think I think I surprised a lot of people because I don't come off as, like, typical businesswoman or whatever. Uh, but I definitely am. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, but... 
Um, it could be the hair. It, I think it might be the hair. I don't know, but no, it's definitely the hair. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was crazy. Like I mean, it, it turned out twenty times better than I thought. Like it was it was phenomenal. So when throwing a uh, an event or a fashion event, like how hard is it to get everybody on the same page? Extremely hard, like extremely. Um, easiest people to get on the like to you know to, um, tell information and then respond to it and do what they're supposed to do are male models. Female models are the worst. This is one of my models. She's always late. That's why she rolled eyes. Yeah, cause she know. Yeah, she always late. I'll she knew like, this was about her. Like, so, so, let's, let's talk about why you always late. And why you always got an attitude? <laughs> what attitude part come from? I don't know. I just feel like she do. <laughs> no, why you always got an attitude? Uh, <laughs> he always hungry. You saw what happened with the food just now. First of all, I'm not always hungry. It's just when you catch me, I'll be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't always have an attitude. I'm a very happy guy. Yeah, always late. But this is my best friend in the whole entire world. She, but she is always late. Uh, I am So do you give late. her late leeway because she's your oh, best friend? Uh, no. So do you lie to her about the time until I get to start early? I need to start doing that. I should start doing but that But she too. said that like, she didn't done it like one or twice. And I, 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 I still be a little late, but I do try to be on time. You try? Yes. Oh, I try harder. I, okay, yes sir. <laughs> yes sir. So why don't you just throw her in the car with you and make sure she's on time? I live in Houston. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. Oh. But she gonna be, she gonna be on me like harder than she is gonna be on anybody else. That's gonna be harder on my friends than I am. But it's got to be that way in business, though. Yeah. It has to be. Unless you want to do business with your friends. That's because you can't, your, your friends will take advantage of your, of your kindness, and you actually need things to happen I know. in business. That's why even I, though, none of y'all are my friends. Yeah, even though when I do act right, she's still going to be on me. Like, oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, like, I can do something extraordinary. It's, it was cool. Yeah. No, yeah. Or maybe it just wasn't that extraordinary. <laughs> I think you're a hater. <laughs> Alyssa to... hasn't been here more than five years. Yeah. So <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, conclusion. you know, sometimes you think you do something great. You like, you know, if your child, like, turn off TV, like, mommy, look, I turned off TV. You just turned off the TV. Right. Like, it wasn't that great. I be doing great things. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah, so, look. So what all, uh, I guess, brains did you have at the uh, fashion show this year? So the way that it was set up was that there was two brands in the introduction. The guys wear a brand called Shane by Pain. They're like um, custom dress shirts. And the girls wear a brand uh, called Fiend Boutique. Shout out to Fiend Boutique. Um, they're based in Spring, Texas. Mm-hmm. Um, I will talk about the introduction to the show later. It was like really dope. Um, and then the show is divided into streetwear. And then the second half was hot couture. So it was like kind of best of both worlds. Um, and it was N Swift was one of the brands, um, Jacket Hanger, Royal Tribe, Lore, Flavors Creative Group, they actually came from Austin. Um, then I had Wild Cage Designs, a brand called Jer Ali that came from Dallas, um, Legacy Lapels, who I hit up two days before the show because I had a brand drop out <laughs> and he came through. Um, and then uh, another brand called Ruben Isaza. Um, but it was, it was, it was dope. Everybody showed up and showed out. It was crazy. So how do you find all of these brands? Like, do they contact you? Do you contact them? It's a little bit of both. Mainly Instagram, honestly. Um, I'm weird in person, so I usually hit people up on Instagram first. <laughs> um, but like, even like some people have their own like um, little spaces and stuff like that. So I'll sometimes pull it there. But um, I mean, yeah, it's just like, I know designers are kind of weird about it sometimes because it's like, do I really want to put my, you know, if it's not like a good production, do I really want to put associate my brand with it so right like, every time a designer does accept me and like it's cool with like being a part of millennial merch i'm like that means a lot it really does yeah. it's hard it is really really hard that's probably the hardest part of everything is getting is getting the designers it's the hardest part getting them to commit all that but i think the people that do decide to work with me they, they realize i'm like really genuine and that this is like my my life like i love this stuff so i would never like i don't want anything to look bad on me so of course i'm not gonna like do anything that i think would like put y'all's reputation in jeopardy so did you have musical performances yeah yeah like were they like really long because we went to a fashion show where they was like too long they gave Uh, (laughs) these dudes like six songs and he was talking about suicide and killing himself oh wow okay no i didn't I sw- <laughs> Am I lying, B? No, he's not. I'm not. He was talking about killing himself. Yeah. I said somebody need to check on him. He needs some friends. Yeah, like, right now, <laughs> now we did have a performance. Um, it was one song. And it was uh, Doc Ryan. Just like, oh, okay. oh, that's dope. Yeah. So it seems like a new Houston type thing. Are you trying to get with most of the other coming or the people that's doing something? Like, like the, the big part of things? Yeah, 
yeah so that's my thing like a lot of my models like are new it's their first show like i like to focus more on development than anything like because it's like not to sound cocky or anything like that but like if they get big or if they get gigs you know based off of my show it's that that credit always comes back to me so i'd rather right. work with like work on development and developing models and things like that rather than picking a model that's been in it like their whole life right? so what if they trash do they get to come back because you're trying to develop them well, and you just the feel like they is, trash it's like so we don't just meet one time. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm asking. That's a real, that's a real question. My, because look, you talking about development. So some people might might be their first show, so they just might be trash because it's their first show. Do you give them another chance? But, yes. Okay. So at the casting, you can kind of tell who's teachable and who's not teachable. But okay. So we start there, and then we have like multiple things that we do, like between like the casting and the shows, where the kids, you know, kind of get the you know, get the idea. Like we had like a four hour walk training, like. It was oh, probably, wow. Yeah, it was probably like one of the most It's a process. Their life. You, said, well, you don't look like you like that process. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> she got upset. She was like, it's a process. That's what I, I do this. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not no, she was on her bumper, bro. She, she <laughs> just looked like she didn't enjoy it. Well, look, look, I said four hours. She was like, yes, it's a process. <laughs> like, like, she didn't like you that can, process. You can say snappy stuff all day. Yep. Yeah. So I can, yeah. I can yeah. say yeah. snappy That's stuff true. to you. Yep. Yeah, that, yeah, it's the most frustrating day, but it's the day where they, like, learn the most, too, so. So you spend four hours in one day, like, watching people walk? Pretty much. In heels. In heels. That's weird. For four hours. Yeah. That's like mall but I watching. Them, so it's fine. What do you feed them? Uh, we have a lot ham of trays, meat trays, cheese, crackers. Meat trays, y'all. Yep. Uh, Salami, pepperoni. That's meat packs out the ghetto, y'all. Y'all, y'all eat meat packs. Trays, fam. When you get trays, you gotta get those. All they did was take the meat pack and put it on the tray. Oh yeah, now you gotta fold the meat over. Yeah, that's all she did. Line it up. I know what you did. She put a toothpick in it with some cheese, made it seem. No, you you gotta make your own sandwich, but she gets it for you. Spread is there. Also, they make their own sandwich. Y'all trust that people don't wash their hands. We a family, so. I don't care. My family can wash their hands. That's your family not washing their hands. No, <laughs> I said, yo, for everybody's family need to wash their hands when they cook it. Your grandma just gonna come out the restroom and go back in the kitchen? No. My grandma. So what's next for you? What do you think is like? Actually, let me ask that. In the next five years, where do you see this? So, like, right now, it's, I don't want to say just a fashion show, but right now, it's a fashion show. Definitely want to dive into, like, um, like a full, like, fashion house, whether it's, like, um, like, styling, creative concepts, photo shoots, event planning, period. Like, we were literally, like, out there. I know we were being loud, but we were out there, like, planning, like, what's We didn't hear y'all at all. Oh, really? Mm -mm. Okay, cool. So, we were out there, like, planning kind of, like, what's next and, like, just different things. Always just constantly going. Like, it's literally like a creative agency. So that's definitely five years. I want it to be like fully developed. So do you think that we can get fashion here in New York, uh, Paris, uh, LA, Miami? I think so, but it's just like everybody that's talented here like moves there, and so it's like we just gotta figure out a way to make it work here. You know what I'm saying? Because just moving there isn't it doesn't help the culture here at all. You know what I'm saying? You're just kind of falling into the culture somewhere else. Where it's like there's so much here. There's so many creators here. Like if we just like come together as a collective, I think it could be like that, you know? But, you know, everybody kind of is like, I'm just going to drop everything in the you know? So how open is the fashion market in Houston, like opposed to going to a New York and being able to, like, collab with other, other creators? What do you mean by open? Like, is it is it an open market to where I can say, like, oh, you're a little bit more established than me, but we can work together and throw a fashion show? Or... Um... Or is it kind of like you do your thing, I do my thing, we stay in our own lane? That is how it is, very much. That is how it is. I think people try and collab, but once they're like in a lane, that's it. Like, my show isn't just like the most typical high fashion event. Like, you know, everybody's not sitting there, like, like, like it, it's more free spirited than like, like a Louis Vuitton fashion show, you know what I'm saying? But that's I've never been to one of those. What's those right, like? Right, right. But like, it, it, it's, it's less like uptight. Like, I've like, never been. I like, want to know what it's like. Yeah, but you feel more comfortable. You don't feel as much pressure. Like, it's just, like, a comfortable place. So if somebody trips, we not going to laugh? Or we're we're definitely laugh, laughing. But it's going to be, like, laughing together rather than laughing. We're not it's laughing comical, person. but you don't want her to feel like, or him to feel, yeah. like, uncomfortable. How many times have you feel? That's a good question. <laughs> I think you need to <laughs> ask. Have you ever failed? We did a fashion show for kids. 
Look, it was it was a it was a slip. It was a slick like part in the like right in the on the tile. And everybody walking by kept slipping. It was like grease or something. Y'all should have had some right tile boys from the NBA. They wiped some slick spots away. Nah, it was a it little was kid really putting bad. baby oil on the floor. <laughs> but no, yeah, I, like, I ain't never fell like, in the Even shop. in my off time, we would really do like small stuff, like shows for kids. And like, you know, if somebody wants to be style, we'll partner with the brand or something like that. And yeah, but I definitely want to get more and more into it to where it can be like a full time. All right, cool. Hold that. We're going to go into a quick mix. We come back, you're going to talk about the intro of your show. Yeah. And introduce um, us to all air, the rest of the game. Right, who is here? Yeah, because uh, one of them back there looked like they're a great salesman. I don't know what they're selling, but they're selling <laughs> something. <laughs> all right, it's Catch 22, Man Cave Style. You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92Kills.com. Tell me how to make things right. This is Jordan Carter with the, with the Millennial Merch Fashion Show. I just wrapped up an interview with Catch 22 Radio. It's dope. Y'all check it out.